Hello there. Here are some basic instructions for cleaning your brass instrument. So we're talking about trumpets, trombones, uh, euphoniums, and tubas. Um, if you play your French horn, you can clean the slides this way, but don't put the instrument itself underwater. Okay, to get started, you're going to need these following materials, um, the various cleaning brushes, snake, and the two different sizes of pipe cleaners paper towels, valve oil, slide grease, some mild dish soap, and a large sink. If your uh, laundry room has an oversized sink, that'd be great. Or if you don't have a big sink, um, you should go ahead and clean the instrument using the tub in the bathroom. Okay, the first thing to do is to pull all the slides off, um, not just the tuning slide, but all the smaller ones as well, and take a paper towel, wipe off all the old grease and crud that built up. And that's what it'll look like. Uh, if you get a bunch of gunk uh, from the first time, then just grab another paper towel and keep uh, wiping until you don't get any more of that material off. Then you take the tubes and flush them under running water, and then get the brush wet and start scrubbing out the insides of the tubes. And on the larger tubes, uh, like the tuning slide, the snake will go in and around the bend and out the other side and uh, it's a good idea to do that. On the smaller tubes with a sharper turn uh, don't even try to get the snake to go in and around the bend it's just not meant to be so insert the snake from one side scrub it out and then uh, turn it around and insert from the other end of the tube. Okay once you're done scrubbing uh, the pipes then you need to flush them once again under running water and at first the water might come out kind of colored, maybe grayish, and what you're doing is removing the material that the brush uh, broke up. So once the water runs clear through the tube, uh, you know you flushed out all of the, uh, the junk. Don't forget to wash the outside of the instrument too. You can use mild dish soap, like palm olive or joy works well, and some warm water. Don't use hot water, and uh, again, once you've uh, washed it, you want to rinse it inside and out. Don't use anything abrasive or harsh. Uh, those green Brillo pads that you use to scrub out dishes, uh, that's a totally bad idea. So uh, don't use anything that's going to scratch the scratch the instrument. Okay, when you're done doing uh, the washing, you can uh, shake the water out of the inside of the tube and use a towel to blot the outside dry. And you want to take a close look and examine the instrument for signs of neglect. And one of those signs is called red rot. And up close, if you take a look, red rot begins to form as uh, slightly pinkish, uh, coppery looking dots on the instrument. And if you do see that, um, that means the instrument probably hasn't been cleaned monthly in the past. And there's nothing you can do to fix a red rot that has already occurred but you can stop it in its tracks by starting to uh, uh, take care of your instrument monthly. Okay, the next step is you want to remove the valves from the instrument and set them aside. I set them on a towel so they don't roll off onto the ground. And pull the valves out, and as you do, note the numbers that are stamped on the valve and the direction that those numbers are facing. When it comes time to put the horn back together, you want to make sure it goes back in the same way. You also want to remove the bottom caps from the valve casings. And then on the instrument, start flushing all of the pipes with running water. Okay, once you've done that, then you can go ahead and take the snake and scrub the entire length of all of the uh, tubes. And then flush them again with water after that's done. You can look down the lead pipe, just sight right down and uh, it will be pretty obvious if you did a good job cleaning the inside. It'll look very shiny and if there's any more material in there then you can go at it once again with the snake. After that, rush, uh, excuse me, wet the larger brush and uh, then you're ready to scrub the valve casings. And you want to scrub back and forth from the top and the bottom sides. Be careful uh, not to rub metal against metal. Those bristle brushes have a metal stem that the bristles are stuck to and you don't want to scrape the instrument uh, with the stem of the brush. And once you've 
done loosening up all the dirt and the material from the valve casings, uh, you always want to follow through with uh, washing some running water out there to get those materials out of the instrument. Okay, when you clean the valves, hold them the way that I show you in the picture here. Uh, hold them from the top. And the idea is you really only need to clean the bottom half of the valves and rinse them first. Then take the smaller brush and you're going to run that through the valve, uh, the tubing, and again, be very careful uh, not to scrape metal against metal. After you've cleaned out the inside of the tubes, hit it once again with water and blot the valve dry. Once you've done that, take a wad of paper towel, turn the valve upside down, and uh, jam it into the bottom end of the valve. Press it in with your finger and start twisting, and you can remove a lot of gunk that way. Now normally when we oil our valves, you know, two or three drops is fine, but we've just cleaned this valve completely and we have ran it under water, so be a little more generous with the valve oil. You want to give it a nice even coating all the way around and then put it right back into the valve casings again uh, with the correct um, valves in the correct slots and have them face the right way. It never hurts to put a drop of oil on the threads uh, before you put the bottom caps back on and that'll keep those from getting stuck shut in the future. And this is a neat trick I learned. If you've got the pink goo, um, the bottle of slide grease, all you need to do is run a bead of that around the end of the tube. Just a ring around each end of that. And when you put the tube back inside uh, the slide, um, pushing it in draws and evenly coats the entire tube. And it's a great way to do it, and it keeps your fingers from getting all goopy. Don't forget to wash out your mouthpiece. And you want to hit it from uh, both ends, the back and the front, and of course uh, run it under uh, water when you're done. It's a good idea to wash your mouthpiece once a week. The rest of the instrument once a month, but that mouthpiece, especially in the flu season, the cold season, take care of yourself and uh, clean that thing more frequently. And don't forget, uh, after rinsing the mouthpiece, go ahead and look down the shank of the mouthpiece. It's the same way you do with the trumpet lead pipe. Again, just to see if it's clean enough. Okay, I don't think I'm going to read all these to you, uh, but here are some thoughts to consider when you're cleaning your instrument. Um, you know, take a whiff. Does it smell bad? Because if it does, uh, it's past due for a cleaning. Another thing to think about, um, you know, before you clean your instrument, just pull the tuning slide out and sight down the lead pipe, uh, as I showed you earlier, but do it before you clean the instrument. What do you see? <laughs> if there's a bunch of stuff in there, then it's definitely past time to clean the horn. And, um, you know, here's a, just a, a quick tip. Don't play your instrument right after eating a meal or drinking popper juice. If you uh, brush your teeth, at the very least, have a glass of water, that will really cut down on the buildup inside the horn.